everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Twilight Princess, also called I Wish I Was Playing Tears of a Kingdom, because my gosh, that game is so much fun. But anyway, the last time on Twilight Princess, we received an invoice for the doctor that we're going to bring over to him, because we want to cure Ilya's uh, amnesia, and the invoice might persuade the doctor to actually start doing something. So let's see what it does for us. Oh, Doctor, what do you have to say? If you don't have any money, then you're just a bother, a bother. And I'm too busy for bothers. Well, I got something that might change your mind. Ah! Look, I can't pay this off right now. I can see Talma hired you as some sort of heavy to strong army, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over the little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but, but, but then... Well, it, it, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world! You always have to be on guard, eh? Uh, look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is in here, so I can't repay you. And out to work, to work! Huh, a carving of some sort, and apparently it stank pretty badly. That sounds like it's a job for some scent tracking and wolf link. I feel like that's the only thing Wolfling's good for these days. Alright, let's transform. What, someone will see me? I don't care. Let me just stay here then. Fine. This is the only reason they put this alley here. Oh, did some kid follow me? Can I just... Fine, I'll stand outside. And then I'll transform and then I'll come back in. Alright, let's find some stinky. We gotta find the stinky... Is it over here in the alley? Hello, everyone. Don't mind me, I'm just... Hey, you. Did you see something stinky? Say, what do you like? I like picking stuff up. But I hate stone pavement because it makes my paw hurt. Nobody understands that. That is kind of sad. Where is that stinky thing? Is it, like, inside with him? It might be. It may very well be. I gotta go check out the docks place because I might be a dummy. Right, because he did say he put it outside, right? Man, all these guys are so scared of me. Like, shish. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I might have to change back. I think everyone's gone now. Nope. Mind. Hello. You want to attack me? Rawr, rawr. Man, these guards are incredibly inept. It makes me wonder as to, you know, whether or not Zant could have succeeded if they had some decent freaking people, you know? Because these guards are just shivering and, and, and shaking. But back in Telma's bar as well, they were just too scared to do anything. Ouch. Alright, let me just open up. Did he mean that he just put it in here to kind of waft out? Because he did mention it stunk and such. Okay, so he's now there. Can I just transform here? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and I bet the scent's in here then? I do hear like a... Like a sound of some sort. You're a persistent little bug, eh? I said I have neither the money nor the wooden statue, you great lout. I can't return what I don't have. Ah, I can't get rid of the medicine stench. I don't have any money when it rains misfortune. Pours. Remember that, lad. Okay. Where is the scent, then? Is it somewhere around here? Because I do hear, like, a cloud of some sort. Hmm... Oh, wait, maybe it's... Oh, hold on. Ah, there's the spill, and we can snip it! 
Uh, yeah, we'll forget the Reek Vicente. We got the Medicine Scent. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. Where does this scent go? Up? Uh, get on. Oh, ouch. Come on, Link. You got this. This is nothing new for you. Yeah, can you tell it's a new recording session? Alright, so it must be out here somewhere then. Are we just going to jump down a scary one again? Alright. Oh yeah, it's definitely down there. Alright. What do we got? Hey, Red Rupee, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Everyone's scared, everyone's away, we know this whole thing. Oh. Hey, hi, doggy. I actually just wanted to dash. Alright, so let's follow this sense to see if we can find the little wooden carving. I don't remember Ilya having a wooden carving of some sort, though. Maybe I didn't pay attention to her design, but I guess it's important to her. Also, why does the doctor think he can get so much for a little wooden carving? Alright. Uh, hello. You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had. Aren't you, dear? Think it a coincidence that I happen to know how it got stolen from the doctor's place? <laughs> no. Yeah, so I'll admit it. I took it, but then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dark beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out of at night. And another thing. They always move around in a pack. You won't give a statue back unless you give them a th all a thrashing. That statue sounds like it's a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back. Alright, I guess we're just going outside and waiting for nighttime. I do seem to have some problems by being outside in Hyrule Field. I'm getting a little, little laggy at some point. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. I hope it doesn't appear now. It might. Uh, it's okay. For the time being. Right. I guess we should just walk around a little bit until it becomes uh, nighttime. For the time being, though. Let's grab that bug over there. Hello. Let me just. There you go. We got the female ladybug. I already got that one. Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot which ones I do and do not have. Um, how about we help that Goron over there? He seems to be in a bit of a pickle. Let me just grab some bomb arrows. <laughs> how about we see what he has to say first before we just blow him up. Hello there. Hey, you are a human, yes? The other Gorons told me about you, brother. Just take a look at these rocks. Amazing. Was there a landslide or something? What are you doing here anyway, brother? Are you trying to pass through here? If I drank some hot spring water, it might give me some of the strength to break through a big rockfall like this. Hey brother, if you find some hot spring water, you should come see me again. Um, well, it is getting close tonight. I think I might be able to teleport to Kakariko Village and then get back with some hot spring water. Um, yeah, you know what? Since it's close tonight anyway, how about we do that? I'm just gonna stand out of his view. Uh, unless there's some spring water over there. Or is that just a drop into some water? I think it might be, yeah. Okay. Right. How about we go wop real quick? I'll be right back. Spring water, get! Uh-oh. No. Hold on. I gotta help my friend. Hello. Yeah, I got some. No, 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 no. I want to talk to you. Want to have this? You know? That's on me. That's on me for thinking I could do that. Alright, let's just face off against these things here. I'm gonna take out my aggression on these fellas. Also, my game is lagging for some reason. Let me just... Excuse me, I wanted to swing it around. Swing it around. Yeah? Oh, wow. You know, I'm not playing really well here right now. Okay. You! I bet you have it. 
Statue? Oh, even more. Okay. Sorry about the, um, the stuttering. I have no idea what's going on with that. Oh, hey! That looks ominous, to say the least. Yeah, I don't think Ilya had this. You got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Ilya. It might be a clue that will help Ilya get her memory back. Set it to Y or X. Okay. Well, I suppose that just belonged to Ilya then. I don't see how it ever belonged to her though. Maybe she picked it up somewhere along the way. Whatever the case, I'm sorry, Gora, because I just splashed down water right in front of your eyes. I don't think that the hot water is able to withstand a teleport. I might just have to just run all the way from Kakariko to here. Or there might be some hot spring nearby that I can get to him. Whatever the case is, I should get back to Kakariko Village and see if this wooden statue will help Ilya in some shape, way, or form. I'll meet you guys there. There we go. Right, now. Let's go show Ilya that statue. Maybe she can start remembering something. Hello, Ilya. How about you take a little look at this, lady? What is this? I... I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me the statue. Yes, uh, yes, I remember that much. But that means that person is still in trouble. What is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. <laughs> I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard the tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to Laneru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. What? Oh, I don't mean you to worry, you little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Yeah, I don't think a rock slide is going to stop that guy. Oh, jeez. Our patriarch, Darbus, will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I would try to find a path beyond the Bridge of Elven that leads to Alayru province. All right, seems we have our path set for us. Now, let's go see where exactly that is. Okay, way over there. Uh, how about we go call Epona? I feel like it's been a little while since we've seen her. I may be mistaken, but at least it's been a while for me since I've seen her. Since I haven't recorded an episode in a little while. <laughs> All right, let's go summon our dear, dear horse. Excuse me, grab. There we go. Oh, yeah. Those sweet, dulcet tones that pierce my eardrums because I'm wearing headphones. Hello, Epona. How about we go up north? Man, she is so fast. Should we buy some bombs? Nah, I think we're fine. Actually, no, we're not fine. I want to bring some water bombs. Because I did mention that the other day. Because now we do have two bomb bags for us to start carrying two different kinds of bombs. And while the the walking scuttle bombs, I think they were called, are pretty useful in their own way. I don't think I need to carry skull bugs around. Because I can just fire a bomb with a bow and arrow and that'll be just fine. Alright, what's up Barnes? I want some water bombs. 30 for 5, sheesh. Well, I may as well get the whole King Caboodle, since I do have the money anyway. And now I have plenty to blow up things down in the water. Alright, thanks Barnes. Do you not sleep or something? Because, man, it's convenient that he's open 24-7, but... Man's gotta sleep. Man's gotta eat. 
I guess this guy just lives bombs, you know? Okay. Epona, are you still there? Ah, what a good horse. Man. Such a trusty steed. I was almost going to try whistling for her. Liking Tears of the Kingdom, where you do with a horse. But man. <laughs> this is not that game. I gotta say though, going back to an older Zelda game, even if I haven't really done anything yet, it kind of makes you appreciate the changes that they've made over time. But also, it makes you appreciate the old title, because it's it's nice in its own way, you know? Like, the steering of this horse is very snappy. That's definitely not a thing in the other games. Alright, uh, looks like trouble is abound. Can I, I wonder, swing my ball and chain around on the horse? I cannot. Whoa! Midna! Yeah, okay. I don't think you care that much about Ilya, but... Alright. We should just get away from here. I'm not sure if they'll follow me to the Bridge of Elvin. Is the bridge still out, by the way? I've got a feeling that it's actually out. And that I forgot... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is a big old hole there. Hmm. Well then. I guess we're warping to the north? It would be so convenient if we could, you know, repair this bridge just like we did with the other bridge. Oh, hello, buddies. Yeah, what are you going to do, huh? What's the plan there, buddies? Well, whatever the case is, we should plan to get back north. It's not that far off. Oh no, that's Zora's River. I need to be... Uh... Over here. I guess the best way is to go to Zora's Domain and just go down. Or maybe over here. Let's go to the Castle Town. How about I just meet you at the other side? How's that for an idea? I'll be right back. Alright, we're coming up to our targets. We should be able to see the Goron... Elder or Patriarch pretty soon. It's a little him. I feel like we might have seen these stones before. I distinctly remember trying to shoot at some stones and being like, well, I guess we can't do that. Ah, looks like it's over here. Well, oh, excuse me, my guy. Let me just. Man, I miss gyro controls. <laughs> ah, it's a 1 8 KO. At least that's a thing. Right. Should be around here somewhere. It is very dark in here. You know what? How about I just take out my lantern? I don't use that enough. There we go. No. What's in here? I guess he already cleared the way for us. And he's like on the other side being like, Oh, I did this for you, Goro. Oh, he's working hard, huh? There is a hidden village up ahead to show you when the eldest college ever got a place. A scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are thirty, no, at most twenty of them ahead. They're probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have survived, settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there is, little human, but you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret of besting them. Destroy them before they spot you. Got a little human? Yeah, thanks, man. Very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Um, I am not sure how long this episode has been going on for because I feel like I'm going to have to cut it a couple of times. But I feel like this is a good stopping point. Alright, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you again here next time for some more. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Stealth Edition. But until then, bye bye.